everyone. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so guys, um, I'm a little bit early, like five minutes early. Um, my new finished a little bit ago and I'm, I wanted to give everyone a bit of a break. Grab coffee, go to the loo, things like that. And oh, he's swimming. She's swimming. <laughs> so welcome everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you're having an awesome mermaid. Um, hello to Diane, Catherine, Eva, Lisa. Hello. You're ha I'm happy for you to look. <laughs> uh, Bridget, Kat, Jennifer, Abby, Kimmy, Deborah. Who's also from Australia, I noticed this morning. Um, who else do we have? Emily. Gosh, 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 gosh. We've got heaps. Bridget, Miranda. Okay. Pamela, Kelly, Forrest, Naomi. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Um, I got a package on a Sunday, no less, here in Australia that's, like, random. This is something I brought for my birthday from Not Just a Card. So why not? Let's open it while I'm here and we, we're waiting for people to come in. A um, couple of things that I purchased from their store with my birthday money. So let's take a look, shall we? Oh wait, it was upside down. It's got a. It's not going to be easy to get into, is it? It's cold. Are you cold? Who's in Australia? It's cold. <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi Rosa. Oh, there's, there's fluff in it. Hang on, let me get the... Oh, this is cool. Look what they do. Um, yeah, of course. Let's just pull it out one by one, shall we? I got some Wink of Stella. Clear. I got some of these gorgeous little Calero Fine Tech. Um... Oh, I got an eraser brush. Eraser? It's a pencil eraser with a brush on the end. Some more fine tech colours. I'll go through those in a minute when we pop them in a the box. I got some of these Japanese watercolours. Some more fine tech colours. They had a special one. If you brought six, you could get the tray... For, for like 80% off or something. It was really cheap anyway. And I already have uh, others, so I'm going to add those in there. I've got some pearls, liquid pearls, gold. i got some uh, masking tape. It's really fine. I think that's it. i got a little card here. Not just a card. It's quite thick actually. Anyhow, very cool. I did think I got two of these brushes, but uh, I'll go back and check my order. I will. So uh, this, I have another set, and I'm gonna. I have a six set that I want to include this in in this. So um, oh, they've covered up my sticker. That's annoying. Well, that's frustrating. <laughs> They've got these little stickers on them. See? And uh, you can use them. You can uh, trim them off and use them inside your tray, which is what I wanted to do, but that one doesn't have one. That's okay. So I've got this. I don't know what color that one is. I've got uh, Meteor. Dragon. Well, that's pretty. Supernova. Fairy. And Medusa. Shadow. I know, she's there. She's sitting on my pencils right now. <laughs> I 
No, Patty, I'm okay. I have had a bit of a rest. I just uh, spent Monia's video. Uh, I actually won the giveaway. Oh my gosh, how does that even happen? Anyway, <laughs> I was watching Monia's and uh, playing around with some colours for today's image. But um, because I won the giveaway and uh, I already have purchased, I always purchase Monia's images. So I already have all of her pictures and I won my choice of image from her shop. So um, I asked her if maybe we could transfer it to today, uh, to now. So she said yes. So I'm going to do two giveaways today. One by Nal Naleke, which I'm colouring today. And I'll do a giveaway of uh, by Monya. Um, okay. So see, I already have um, some here. So I was just going to put uh, six of these because this one's got a funny cover so I was just going to add them in there some of them don't have color colors that's very similar to that one hmm. anyway but that's what I was going to do they're very pretty very pretty hi guys hi Michelle hi Selena hi to anyone else that popped in um <laughs> hi Anna, hi Mona, welcome peoples, welcome. Are you okay there Shadow? You okay? Now. Now. It's like you got stuff and you're not giving it to me. <sighs> so I'm a brat. Say it. <laughs> Say I'm a brat. <laughs> it does. I'm looking forward to uh look how pretty that is. I'm just gonna put them all in while we're here, hey. I've got three hours today. <laughs> three hours. Uh, I did get a little bit of sleep last night. Oh, I'm, I'm saying seven, but, you know, time it takes you to get to sleep and dreaming about streaming and, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it could it could have been less than that. It could have been less. Gloves. It's cold here, peoples. It's cold. Someone will put the heater on when they, when they realise it's gone cold again, but for now... They can stay on. My hands have been a bit sore from colouring. Two AM. Hi Linda. Hi Grammy. Hi Pam. Two Pams. Hello Pam and Pam. Shadow is a black Bengal, and uh, she's very noisy and opinionated. Aren't you, Shadow? Now I didn't really think, but. The Japanese watercolours that I've got sitting there, they're going to, uh, I don't know what I'm going to put them in. That's going to be a bit of a weird one. Oh, this is a pretty one, this one. Medusa. Dragon. That looks good. Six p.m.? They are pretty. No, no, uh, Miranda, these came from not just a card in Australia here. They do calligraphy type things. Um, they have inks and brushes and and um, ink pens and calligraphy stuff. Card stuff, not just a card it's called. They have lots of these pretty type watercolours. Um monster this one's called that was dragon i like that it's like a green they're very pretty this one's meteor meteor uh a very lovely friend lo brought me some oh, maybe a year or two ago now lo hasn't been around for a little while she um, has some health problems so i'm sure she's still watching um and uh, they're absolutely beautiful and I thought why not add to my set 
with my birthday money. Now this one just says Calero Fine Check, but I need to check my list and see what I ordered. Because, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me look. Not just a card. At my emails. And see what I ordered. Uh, order. View my order. <laughs> All right. Uh, Supernova, Meteor, Medusa, Dragon Fairy. And you know what? It's not telling me what color it is. It just says Calero Fine Tech Color. <laughs> That's bloody helpful, isn't it? And apparently I only ordered one eraser. All right. I don't know what this color is. I'll have to go back and have a look in the website, but it's pretty. It's like a pinky kind of white. It's pretty. And uh, I'll move some of my other ones into the tray later on. But aren't they cool? And uh, I'll move, as I said, some of these ones have got, that one's got a funny thing. So I'll move those. Or I might even move these ones. It looks kind of like this, this color here, but it's more pink. This one's like the same color as that. But this has like got a purplish kind of glow. And this has got more of a pink kind of glow. But anyway, they're beautiful colors. And um, I'll play with them later. Yes, it's up. Why? Can you not hear me? Hmm. Shall I check? Let me check. Eh, everything's good. And I got my Yeti. Yeah, everything's good. That's weird. I can point it down a little bit, maybe. Oh! <laughs> Your shipment has arrived. I know. I got it. All right, so that was that. And then I got the Wink of Stella which I already have a couple of them, but everyone kept telling me there was a clear. So I'm going to have a quick look at that. Take the little thing out. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. I've got some spare paper here. Apparently it doesn't want to come out. But I, oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Just taking a minute to come through. Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so shiny. Yes, it is. Go away. <laughs> wow, that's pretty. Okay, so I've got a clear now. Uh, what's this? Pearls. Liquid pearls. Dimensional pearlescent paint. Pearl. This looked a little bit like um, stickles, so I thought, why not give that a go? And we can put little... Oh, it's very cute. Okay. Gold. That was liquid pearls. That's a range of product. I could see that properly there. Gold pearl. Probably not the best paper to show you on. Spectrum Noir. <laughs> nice. All right. So these are just uh, little tiny, really slim 
uh, tape for doing different things with my watercolor. I'm not going to take them out. I'll leave them in there. Uh, this was a, it's a, an eraser pencil, Faber-Castell. So the end is eraser. Apparently. Let's try it. I've done some pencil swatches here. Wow, look at that. It's an eraser. In a pencil form. And there's a little brush on the end of it. It's actually a pretty cool eraser. Look at that. I like it. And it's a pencil, so you can sharpen it. Okay, now let's have a look. I've got these. There was heaps of colours, but I didn't get any of the normal colours. I just got the pearly ones. This one's pearl blue. And they come in little trays. See, I should have got something to hold these in. They're really pretty. Look at that. So that one's number 64 and it's pearl blue. So Japanese watercolours, these ones. This is 65 pearl red. No, I haven't tried these yet. We're going to give them a go. Oh, you do, Diane? Typewriter eraser. Hmm, it might be, Sharon. You never know. <laughs> awesome, Sherry. All right, so that's that one. Then we had uh, pearl orange. Well, that's pretty. It's like a peach colored. And I got uh, pearl red. They are different. No, they're not. They've given me two pearl reds. Well, that's not right. It's all right. I have to change that. <laughs> Um, look, it can't all be right. What's go? What's this one? All right, I'm gonna need my phone again. I was supposed to get sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five. There's a sixty-two, which is a uh, pearl purple. Uh, I think that might be an extra. I think I've got that extra. Then uh, 66, that's a pearl green, pearl green, pearl, pearl purple, okay, and then I've got three different golds. Uh, this is pearl gold, it looks kind of yellowish this one, I'm sure it'll be gold once it's wet, but this one looks more gold. This is blue gold. And they're cool, aren't they? Look at those little trays. I have nothing to put them in either. And this one is, what was this one? Red gold. They're very pretty. Should I try them? Or should I get on to colouring Naleke? Let's vote. Who votes trying watercolours? Who votes uh, getting straight on to Nell? I did. It came today on a Sunday. <laughs> Try them. Try them. Watercolours. Try them. <laughs> Should we just do it on this paper? Because I had, this is one of the sheet of the blue tone paper from Strathmore that I had out to try. So we'll just try it on here because I have it out. All right, let's try number 62. Let's just put a little bit of water on each of them first. I'm glad they've got little things on the end of them so I know what colours they are. The only one that doesn't are these two, the two golds. So that's going to be a pain. I will not know which is which. Sixty-two. 
So I have a spare, a spare pearl red. Might have to uh, give that one away. Pearl gold. Oh, why does that not have a number on it? That's annoying. That was the, that was the blue, and that was the red. I might just write that on the bottom. Oh, it means I need a permanent marker. Uh, hello? Will my paint pen work, do you think? So this was the red gold, 59 red gold. And then it's wrote it roughly on the bottom. And this one was 58 blue gold. Alright. Just so I know. Otherwise I'm going to get confused. Water. I did, I turned it up. Are they magnetic? Ooh. I don't feel it. I don't have any metal to test it. No, they're not. It is up, up full. Right, let me just remove some of these other, other things. Is that better? Um, they, there was no brand. They're just called Japanese gouache. Gouache. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a brand. That's all I have. That that little logo. I turned everything else off. I don't know if that helped. Try that. I've just turned that up a bit. Hi, Loretta. <laughs> um, that's all I have. That's the only thing I have. I don't know if that helps, but it's a barcode. Does that help? Okay. Okay. Let me uh, wet my brush. Okay, I had some water here from uh, last time. So this is pearl green. Oh my gosh, it's like liquid pearls. I'm just going to grab some coloured paper, uh, some white paper here somewhere. There you go, that's watercolour paper. That's the green. Pearl red. Mm. 
I think they are very much like that. Am I? Which I can't we I can't get here in Australia. I've tried. They're just so expensive. This is the blue, pearl blue. I'll lift up the sheet of white in a minute so you can see this is pearl orange, the like peachy colour. They all look the same on the paper in the camera, but they're actually coloured. I can see the colour here. This is the pearl purple. Oh, that's pretty. They might be, uh, Linda. Okay, and then I had, so that's the pearls, the colours. You can sort of see them there. This is one of my um, flip book ones that didn't work, so I've just got it as scrap paper. You can see the green, the pink, the blue, and the peachy colour and purple. And on here, oh, hang on, I got another package. That's weird. Okay, that's so weird. Two packages in one day. On a Sunday. Alright, let's go to the gold. This is pearl gold. It's something I ordered from a chemist ages ago. I forgot I'd ordered it. Some uh, aloe vera gel. And um, for burns. And some stuff they had on sale. <laughs> that's the gold. This is stuff that I've purchased though like weeks and weeks ago that's coming. This I purchased for my birthday, that was good. But um the other stuff I ordered ages ago. When all this stuff just happened, it was just before then. Oh, that's pretty. That's like a real deep gold, that one. Uh that is the blue gold. It's nice and thick that one. Hi Dawn. Hi Ray, welcome. Is it Raya or Ray? <laughs> oh dear, this one doesn't want to mix at all. Look, I've had that sitting there for ages and I can't seem to get it to This is the red gold. All right, let's try that. Yeah, that's not mixing well, that one. almost translucent could go over the top of other colors you can just on this paper you can barely see the the color of those these two these ones will come out dull they might need a little bit more water or a little bit longer to soak in but they're pretty cool 
I going to do with all those little trays? I'm going to have to find a something to put them in. Sure, I'll figure it out. Let's try these ones. Oh, they're upside down. These are all ridged, these ones. <laughs> Hard to wet the whole surface area. All right, so pull that down a bit. We'll put them up the top here this time. Let's move down here. All right, let's try these. Give them a second. I think that was it. So let me just get rid of all this rubbish here now. The cat is looking at me like, well, where's mine? them to soak up a little bit this is Medusa it's like a purpley green it's kind of weird actually all right this is fairy It's like a milky pink with like a blue, blue sort of iridescent <laughs> type look. This is Supernova. I liked the look of this one. They may not have been sitting long enough with that water. They might need to soak up a little bit more, but I don't want to sit too long. Ooh, pretty. I like that on the blue paper better. They're not holographic, they're iridescent. <laughs> holographic is uh, all light spectrums are visible. Get out of it, you can't eat them. Shadow. Uh, this is dragon. Wow, that's kind of scary, that one. It's got red undertones with green. Shadow thinks like she can have them. She goes, I'm going to eat them. This is medial, medial, medial. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> These are the Calero Fine Text, Pam. And, and it's from Not Just a Card. So you can order them. You're in Australia. You can order them from there. It's like a... Mm, a pewter kind of color yeah meteor that one was and this is the unknown color we'll just call it unknown because <laughs> we don't know no i have to go back and have a look at the website it's like a pearl a pearl pink it's pretty it's definitely different to what i had before it's actually, I think it's a lilac. Wow, that's cool. Let me check. It could be lilac. Let me go look at Calero. Shop. Fine tech. I'm going to guess this one is... go look it'll be a new one that I didn't that uh, that I didn't have so let me look 
it's not lavender. Fine lilac. You know what? It was written on there all along. <laughs> Look at that. It's right there. <laughs> okay, just uh, face palm me. <laughs> I'll fix up a label for it later on, but just so I remember what it is. <laughs> I'm a dickhead. Oops, I oh, smudged it. It's like really fine lilac. Can hardly see it on white paper. That's all smudged because I smudged it out. But this is the blue toned pear bar. You can see it very clearly. That is definitely purple. It's like a granite sort of. I don't know, pewter kind of colour. That's like a greeny red. That's like really pretty. Or it has some pink. That's like a... Actually, those two are very similar, but that's a lot finer. They're very pretty. Look at look at these now. They're dry, these ones. Oh, that's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's put them away. That was fun! I know, I do, Pam, sorry, I do need glasses, so much, sorry. <laughs> Alright, we have Nell today, hello Nell. Shadow's in the wrapping paper. That was on the oh. all right. Oh, that's itching my ear. I think I need glasses for sure. I uh, couldn't decide what color, what pencils to use, so um, I went with uh ones that I haven't used forever because um, they're beautiful and just you know, they get kept in this this box here in my cupboard <laughs> which is a pain because they're kept in a cupboard um, oh I got scratches on the box uh, the lovely Melody gave me these for Christmas last year um, beautiful beautiful gift And um, I wanted to try, I'm going to do one of those streams where I'm not really sure, <laughs> ice cream? Lisa's out for ice cream, that's it, only ice cream. <laughs> it's Aquaman with a beard. <laughs> um, I want to try something, so another experimental one, forewarned, may not work, but we'll give it a go. Um, so first of all, I want to use some burnt ochre 10%. Now, I don't have little cards for all of them. I've only made them for the ones, the skin colours I had earlier. But I can put them up for the ones that I have. And, um let you know what I'm using there. I'm also using the first time using this as well so another forewarning <laughs> might not work as well um, but uh, I'm using the Tantone mixed media vellum surface paper okay okay Hi, Della. 
Who's lacking? Smacking, lacking. Lisa was lacking. Well, I've tried the the dark dark grey one that was for last night's image, which actually came up really good. And uh, we're going to try this one today. Uh, as I said, we're going to try something a little different. Well, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to try multicolored skin. Hi, Cassandra. Hi, Robin. Um, I'm going to try some multicolored skin. I didn't say it would work. But we're definitely going to give it a go. And uh, because I don't know this paper and haven't used it before, yeah, it might be slightly different to the other papers I've used, which has happened. I've tried uh, different surface, like the toned paper seems to have a more shiny, smooth surface than other Strathmore paper. So um, it's a little different. You know, I was a little bit, I, I, I didn't like beards either, Loretta, but um, my hubby grew a beard, so what do you do with it? <laughs> I can't just go, oh yeah, no, I don't like you anymore, you get a beard, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, what do you do? Oh no, I'm so sorry, Diane. <laughs> Shelly. <laughs> You're on the fence with beads. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Shadow, no, off. You gotta push buttons. You could disconnect everybody. I'm being a naughty girl today. Naughty girl. No. No. Stay. We don't need you here. <laughs> we might want you here, but we don't need you here today. <laughs> Hi, Helen. No problems. Yeah, I don't know about that really long, shaggy looking, horrible things, but yeah. Um, just gotta, you know, go with it, I guess. I do. Can't do much about it. Just putting in some highlights first. Uh, like I did did with the um, the white, but I'm using skin color for now. Come in with white later, I think. Shadow, you're doing it again. Psst. No. Hey, out! 
excuse me. The two-year-old cat. <sighs> Oh, she's seriously into it today. She's in my bin now. <laughs> now she's in my bin. We had so many different styled artists this time. I really liked that. She's having a tantrum now. All right. Oh, my cat talks all the time and she is the boss. <laughs> so she did a mermaid. <laughs> Work on the abs. <laughs> I'm trying, alright? Give me some time to get this working. <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm doing, but you know, give it a go anyway. Why not? I'll give him a bit of a highlight there coming through his hand. Uh, I don't know. Under his beard maybe it's coming? I don't know. But we'll give him a bit of a bit of light coming across the chest there. And uh, on the arms. Just to a little bit on these scales. Alright, so that was just a light layer. I'm going to leave this one. Next colour, I don't have a card for, so I'll put that away. Is I will definitely be making some of those, so next time it's easier. I'm going to use light malachite, light malachite green. It's 181. And it's a really pretty kind of jade aqua green. Gonna pop it in a couple of little spots around this skin. Shh. No, you're being naughty.
a little bit down here a little bit in his scale this is going to be quite dark down this side I went dark this time this I decided not to go I've done a few couple of lighter sort of styled ones but I don't know I got a thing for dark at the moment <laughs> darkness is everywhere no not really a little bit Alright. Just added a little bit. Let's add some in these scales here. <laughs> That's what it is, cat. <laughs> Selena. Not too many, I hope. These are luminance. Lumis. to keep looking up because <laughs> I keep losing track all right now I need I need a blue a purple what have we got I'm gonna go with this is number 129 violet brown violet brown just gonna come into the edge of the green so this will be my darkest shadow color well, well coming into my darkest shadow areas I should say it's not my darkest color no man that's not it Adds a little bit of shape. I was thinking about using Holbins today, but um, I ended up not going with them. I started to try and use them on the paper and I was like, nee. it wasn't as smooth and as nice as I would have hoped. And because I haven't actually practiced on it, I figured Lumi's goes on pretty much any Strathmore paper. So hence Lumi's it is.
keep it quite dark down the bottom there because there's a bit more of a shadow. I don't know why, I just decided that's why. <laughs> He's going to be darker down this side than he is on this side. Don't know what colour we're going to do his beard, but we'll get to that later. It's been nice experimenting with these mermaid skins. His tail is going to be like a blue, so we'll get down to that later. Don't need them, do we? Most of them are doing for the month of May. I think. Now ah, there you go. Shelley said summer's only till the end of the color a thon. I need a lighter purple, so I'm gonna go with. Mag manganese violet one one two and uh, I'm actually going to write these down because I don't want to forget what colors I used <laughs> did I need a pen I had a pencil Would be nice. oh there's one <laughs> so burnt ochre 10% Light malachite green. We used what was that one again? Violet brown and manganese violet. You know what? I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I say it. All right. <laughs> There you go, Monia said till the end of Mermaid. So this I'm going to bring into the green a little bit further and over the purple. It's a bit of a half and half. Getting it to blend in a little bit more. That's a better mix between the two.
Yes, please. I think I already put it out. Okay. <laughs> coffee time. Okay, tea time. No coffee. Just tea. I got pizza for lunch later. Mmm. Stuffed crust pizza. Pizza. Just going to do it uh, along the edge of the burnt ochre and that dark purple as well. Now, I need some dark, dark blue. In this set, there's a few blues, but nothing really extremely dark. So the darkest blue in the set is Prussian or Prussian. Prussian, Prussian, Prussian. I don't know. Someone probably told me how to say it. I just don't remember. Unless it's something that I'm doing over and over again it kind of leaves my brain <laughs> it leaves the brain all right this time i'm going to put in some dark shadow areas so i'm going to come around all of the darker sections of the body I might even have to use some sort of dark grey in here to deepen it a bit. And this blue I'm going to use in the tail as well. Getting in some shape. Nothing's blended yet, so let's not, you know, jump too far and say it looks terrible. <laughs> Still lots to go. I'm starting to see where things are going to go though, like, you know, they're starting to form in my mind a little better. <laughs>
They're starting to, I say. Hi B and D, welcome. You're all rowdy. <laughs> Michelle. Howie. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> All right, what's Lisa saying? <laughs> you guys are naughty. Hi, Kenny. <laughs> Welcome. Who's going to bed? Night, Lisa. <laughs> oh, I wonder who. Mr. Mama Mama Mama. <laughs> it's Aquaman. Come on. It's very plain. You can see that very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> all right i think i'm going to abandon the limbs and work on this ab abs abs <laughs> get that right and then uh, we'll move back to the arms Does he have wings? Yeah, he's got mermaid mermaid things on his back. They're not wings. They're like fins on his back. <laughs> They're fins, not wings. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's what I see. So there's a part of his their fins. His tail's down here. I know these are like part of his fins. <laughs> Why did I choose this one? You guys are rude. <laughs> They're this bit here. This is the best bit. And it's coming up with tail. You can't even see it properly. <laughs> Thank you. I got my cat cut today. <laughs> Are funny. <laughs> no, it's all covered up with tail. Look, tail gone. <laughs> you miss out. <laughs> Alright, so this blue's not dark enough for what I was after. 
but I really like the color of it. Uh, so we're going to need to go a little bit darker and I don't think the gray is going to cut it either. Um, I actually might add hmm, a different brand. I might try this indigo. It's indigo, uh, Holborn indigo. <laughs> Michelle, I'm sorry. I cannot help it. <laughs> I wanted to do a man. Oh, that's good. Dark. This is indigo and this is a Holborn. I'm just going to go a little bit darker in some of these shadows. You know what? This is not going to cut it either. Okay, we're experimenting now again. <laughs> I need darker. Alright, who's got the darkest blue pencil? What do you reckon? Um, you know what? Let's try polychromos. There's dark indigo in that. Polychromos. Watermelon tea sounds intriguing. <laughs> sounds like something, but I'm not that into watermelon. Oh, Frontier. Mm, I haven't seen that one yet. Um, I, I, I liked him in, um, I first saw him in Stargate Atlantis. That's the first place that I saw him. He's an actor. Oh, that's a bit better. This is a dark indigo polychromos. The other colours weren't really that dark. I just needed to add a little bit more depth into some of these darker areas. We might have to add some black as well. I'm going to put Frontier on my list too. Ah, hi <laughs> Selena. I actually quite like um, Stargate Atlantis. It was one of my favourite shows and Stargate Uni uh, Universe and Stargate SG-1. Both, all of them I liked. C, Melanie. Oh. Watermelon. Yee. Watermelon's got a weird texture to me. It's alright, but it's not something that I, I really like. Fruits, I'd prefer apple. I'm an apple person. Let's add some shadows under these.
I definitely like that darker color. It's giving me more contrast. Okay, so I've got a bit of a shadow coming across there. And a bit of a shadow coming down here. And the beard, of course. And then it stops a little bit, got a little bit of a shine, and then it comes back underneath here. I think I'm liking the shape too. I think we're getting some abs here. Are we getting some shape? I think we are. <laughs> Yeah. I thought we were going to do Halloween. Like Spooktober. <laughs> Spooktober? Mm. I'm going to use Payne's Grey in the Luminates. Going back. Payne's Grey. 507. Surreal September. August. Uh... So hang on, hang on. August is like winter here. Um, what other things happen in August? It's actually not dark enough. How weird is that? I mean, it's like almost black and it's not dark enough. All right. Uh, more experimenting here. Oh, I had the wrong one. There's two different Payne's Greys. There's Payne's Grey. Okay, this is 508. Payne's Grey. This is the darker Payne's Grey. <laughs> Let's try that. Oh, that's better. Loretta, so sorry. In August, we have a virtual pajama party and get drunk at the Colorathon. <laughs> we could call it. Uh, pajama August. I don't know. But then what, what images do you have for a pajama party? Teddy bears in pajamas? I don't know. That seems a little... Yeah. We need something that, that would be interesting to colour.
we don't want people to get bored we want the images to come out cool too we want some good themed things so we can get some awesome pictures like it's all very well to have the theme but we've got to have the images right <laughs> images Im any images will be drunk away matter <laughs> robin says no pants color <laughs> August hotties, Shara has just said. <laughs> oh, it did? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I just got a message. Hang on. she is patreon down oh she's so pretty is that the one you're talking about space force <laughs> this one wait why isn't it patreon's pain is this the one you mean women are hotties too Is this the new one you're talking about? Yes. Girls from space, no men. That's the uh, grayscale. Gosh, my my camera's really pale. Like that's the grayscale version. So this is uh, if you're a patron, it's the May. It's the May uh, free page, and it's just gone up on Patreon. And uh, I need a little break. I think I'm I've drunk tea and water and you know I need a break you guys probably do too it's been like an hour and a half so I am going to go have a quick short two minute break I don't know about these abs they're looking a bit weird shaped here <laughs> And, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll do a couple of giveaways. We'll do a giveaway from Naleke and uh, we'll do one and we'll do one from Monya because she was so kind as to let me transfer it to one of you guys. <laughs> oh, Zodiac. I'm not into Zodiac that much. What about um, Animal August? I don't know. I'm going to have a break, guys. Be back in a sec. I'm back. I put my 
your glove back on. <laughs> Can't wash your hands with gloves off. And my bracelet keeps getting caught in this one. <laughs> Did warm up a little bit, so someone must have turned the heater on. <laughs> That's why I put it on there. <laughs> Let's get back to this, eh? He's looking really good. I'm, I'm actually really liking him now. I'm going to come back in with some of the other colours. I'm going to come back with the um, violet brown. And uh, the edges are starting to sort of uh, burnish off a little bit now. And um, let's do let's do Monia's giveaway first because that one was kind of a you know one we weren't expecting to do so we'll do that one first. So the winner of this giveaway will take away or we'll get emailed to them I should say that doesn't sound right we'll take away uh, <laughs> we'll get emailed a an image of their choice from her Etsy store. So I will need your email address uh, details sent to me so that I can send them off to Monia to send to you. And um, yeah, let's do it, shall we? So who's here? We've got people around. Anyone ready? So I'll do the giveaway rules. Um, they're pretty quick. Let's flick through them. So we have about 55. So we can do pick a number between 1 and 100. Only one number per person. The first person to call that number owns it. No chatting during number calling until the winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, 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 or after stop, stop, stop will be counted. Who's already? <laughs> uh, the number closest to the generated number without going over it is the winner. Make sure that you are on live chat. Click on that little arrow above your chat box there. Make sure it is selected on live chat. Please make sure it's on live chat. And keep an eye on that chat because that's where everything happens. Don't listen to me. Look at what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look at what I'm doing in the chat. Because the video is about 20 seconds ahead behind I'm about 20 seconds ahead of you you guys are all behind you you guys are all in the past I'm in the future <laughs> Abby really <laughs> go <laughs> too quick girl all right, I'll give you all a minute and a bit. <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> I'm still using that, that uh, violet brown color at the moment. Excuse me, that cup of tea is just loving me right now.
He's looking quite stern. <laughs> Last chance, guys. Last chance. I know there's more of you in the in the in watching, so if you're lurking, jump out and stop lurking and put a number in. Give me a number. Oh, Helen. Oh, nearly missed it. All right, I've got uh, manganese violet and uh, oh. How do you say that? Is it Maritiza? 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 <gasps> Goodness me. Well done. All right. <laughs> oh, Rosa, you missed it. No. Why did you take your number away? What did she write? I missed that. What happened then, Kenny? These art and books. Uh, why did you take that away? I'm not sure what you did then and why you did that. Was it an accident? <laughs> oh, two. Where's the? Ah, oh, yes, I see. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Okay, here we go. Going to do the. Gonna do. I'm gonna do random.org because it's there. Eighty-nine. Now this is for Monya's image. The winner of Monya's image is. I don't know. <laughs> Della? <laughs> Let me do it again. Let me look again. Let me go. Yeah? All right. Yes, yeah, 79. <clears throat> 70. 70. Yeah. Yeah, it's Della. Yeah, I had Della first before Robin. Uh, 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 that's live chat yep okay cool Della you won if you want to email me your choice of image from Monia's store I'm going to pop her colour my dreams Etsy shop up there so go check it out there and let me know the name of the image and Make sure you email me to let me know your choice so I can then pop your details off to Monya and, um, and give it to her. Okay. <laughs> She's like, what? I won? Yoo-hoo. Okay, Robin, this time round for Nell's image. All right, we're going to draw again. Excuse me, because we might have new people in here. I'm not going to do the rules again. One number between one number only between one and one hundred. No chatting during number calling. The winner is the number closest without going over the winning number. And uh, is there anything else? Everyone ready for the next one? This is for a picture of your choice from Naleke shoemakers Etsy store and Nell has done this image that we're doing today <laughs> you're welcome uh, let's go good luck to Robin who was also very close let's see how you go with this one <sighs> let's do this peoples go I'm going to give you another minute and a half. Get in there, guys. Mm. 
manganese violet. You know, I think I should try and, try and put some nipple colour in there. <laughs> Add a bit of pinky brown in there. Come on, guys. Nell has some awesome images in her shop. I love. She's got a couple of themed ones in there that I really like. Uh, she's got a thing for The Witcher as well. There's a couple that are kind of a... Kind of... What do you call it? Inspired by that. So, um... I love the grayscale images that she has. All right, last chance, peoples. Come on, put them in if you haven't already. Guys, only one number. It's too bad if it, somebody else has that number, guys. It is the first number that you put in. No, can't take it back. Ah, Pam, there's still time. Put a number in. <laughs> You can only, whatever your first number was, that's it. You can't change your number. Okay? That's why some people have the same number, because you can't change it. Thanks, Pam. All right, guys. Here we go. So this was a number from before. I'm going to regenerate. <laughs> 84. I'm confused. Why are some people's numbers disappearing? <laughs> we got <laughs> Alright, so it's your first number. What was Helen's first number? Because I can't see a number there. <laughs> I am so confused. Stop deleting the messages. I can't see them. <laughs> 79. Uh, is the only number oh, that is the closest. So, <laughs> Selena, you won. <laughs> oh, I can't see any numbers. Come on. They've all gone. They've gone. You're all gone. <laughs> oh, that chat looks terrible. <laughs> Well, I can't see what, what, uh, okay. Yep. 
need to keep an eye on that chat, don't we? <laughs> Guys. Because um, if you already put a number in and retracted it, you can't go and then put a number in. It's done. If you had a number that was the same as somebody else, you can't take that number away. It's too late. It's like a lottery draw. The first person to call the number wins a number. Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. Helen was, but retracted the first number. What was the first number? <laughs> Why are we having so much trouble with these giveaways lately? <laughs> Perhaps I should have read through those rules a second time. There's no take backs, guys. Okay, so Helen, you can't you can't retract, but thank you so much for letting me know. Um, that was your first choice, and that's too bad. So it's luck of the draw, really. You either get in really, you get in first, uh, or you wait until everybody's nearly finished putting in their numbers and then pick a number that no one else has chosen. But it's hard because you don't know when it's going to end. So it's like potluck. Yeah. Okay, so are we all just are we <laughs> are we all good? Are we all happy with that? I Selena did win. That's okay. That's okay, Helen. Next time next time be good. We've still got heaps of streams, so plenty of chances to win some prizes. <laughs> plenty of time. How's he looking? He's starting to look nice and ripped. I'm getting these colours in there now. I'm liking it. Alright, back to some green. Yeah, all good. Don't no stressing. Alright, let's go back with the light malachite green and do that bit. I did say I wanted to put some colour into his nipples. Yeah. So let's put something nice and dark. What's this one? Oh. Mm. There is my... They're all mixed up in here. Hmm. I was thinking maybe burnt sienna. But I don't know where the burnt sienna is. <laughs> I can't find it. Okay, well let's go with the uh, burnt sienna 50%. Just add a little bit of colour in there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a nipple. We're going to be colouring over that with some green, but I just wanted the colour in their background there. Just light malachite green. My paper's almost completely burnished down now. 
in some of those areas. Yes, Heather is next. Oh, Della, yours is for Monia Gates. I'll send the link again for her Etsy store. Monia, cover my dreams. So this is the store from this one. Oh, thanks, Mona. Welcome and thank you. Enjoy your sleep. Rest well. Yes. Um... My email as well, okay. It's in the description, guys, as well. So don't get lost there. <laughs> yes, um, that's a good point. Make sure you are... Make sure you are on live chat, not top chat, because you won't be able to see... <laughs> yeah, it's already gone. It's finished, Rosa. <laughs> you got to go into live chat so you can see that. Um, now, if somebody just asked me something. Where are you? Where are you? Robin. Yes, I'm liking it so far. It's like the Tantone paper. It's just the colours are slightly different. Like the colours are... It's the same on Tantone. It's just slightly different. Cat hair on my picture. Seriously, man, on my picture. Come on. Just using the green to burnish down some of the paper in some of these areas and then I'll go in with the colourless blender and finish it off. I still think that this area here could be slightly curved or something. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to give it a go. That's a bit better. Thank you for, th for giving me thumbs up. And Shara, I use the it's in the description the epson workforce uh, it's an a3 printer and it seems to print this okay sometimes it it pulls the paper through and says there's no paper and i have to put it back in again um, but uh, that's pretty much the only problem that i've had with bigger paper thicker paper this is pretty much the thickest i could get it in though I don't think I could, um, I don't think I could go any thicker. <laughs> awesome, my Selena, I got it. Thank you. I'll send that to her. Um, night, Sharon. Oh, you did? How? Shelly, tell me how. I want to finish it. The whole idea was to do the skin today. <laughs> Try and concentrate on one thing, you know. <laughs> Alright, I've gone back to the um, burnt ochre 10%. 
And uh, <laughs> just, I actually just want to use that new eraser. Let's use a new one. And I just want to go in and come around the bottom there. Because I got a little bit of the dark colour in there. And I wanted to keep those sections kind of lighter, so... <laughs> they worked really well. I like it. got to be right it can't look strange it's gonna look strange because it's blue but you know <laughs> I'm actually really happy with it I'm happy with it came how it came out it didn't come out a total mess like I thought it might I think um I think it's nice. Oh, hi. Okay. No, the ink's waterproof, Shara, on this one. Epson. I think all Epson ink is. Don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. But I think all Epson printer ink is waterproof. I did have a little trouble with my Copix this morning because I just printed my image and um, it didn't have time to dry. I was literally printing it while I was live on stream. So, um, But uh, once it's printed, it, it dries fairly quickly. A little bit more green in the face. And a little bit more of the burnt ochre 10%. I find the laser printer is okay for Copics because Copics printed on smooth paper. I've mentioned this before, but if I've ever had uh, paper that's not got a smooth texture, then the the um, the print peels off the laser paper if we've got textured paper. So I tend not to use it. How's he looking? <laughs> I think he's looking really good. <laughs> Jura Bright Ink. There you go. Thank you, Shelley. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm going to use the colorless blender and just blend over and make sure I get rid of some of this, I don't know, faded areas, areas of the tooth that haven't quite covered over. We can still see his tattoos underneath 
in those shadow areas which is cool This is a Caran d'Ache Full Blender. It comes in the set and you can buy it individually. It usually comes in a two pack. There's a link for it in my description as well. I noticed that a lot of the links in my description aren't working properly because of everything that's been going on on Amazon. Hopefully it will settle down again once this pandemic thing's over. Hopefully. He's amazing. <laughs> He's looking pretty good. I'm happy with it. green I think he's good I think we got plenty of shape there hi Heather Yes. How long have I got? I still got an hour, haven't I? Please tell me I have an hour still. <laughs> or have I finished? Is this it? You don't start till two, yeah? <gasps> Heather! Am I wrong? <laughs> Am I having a heart attack here for no reason? <laughs> ah, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Do you like it? Does it look alright guys? I'm happy with it. I think it looks good. I think we've got plenty of depth. I need to decide what uh, what colour he, his um, hair is going to be. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to add a little bit of <laughs> anthraquinoid pink 571 to his lip. I had a little bit of green and a little bit of uh, burnt oak 10% in there already. Just going to add a little bit of pink there. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of white to his eyes or the whites of his eyes. And I need to decide what colour he is. Uh, actual eyes are going to be. <laughs> oh, it's hard to stay serious as you guys are like that. <laughs> I think we should give him like, I don't know, nice bright blue eyes or green eyes. Let's go with blue because I have blue. Uh, now this is Nale Naleke Shoemaker's um, image from her pack. Well, actually she didn't do pack. She did two individual images for this one. Uh, I'll get a shop for you. Links in the description as well if you're looking for them. But this is the link that this image comes from. I 
and I'm using Luminance pencils. <laughs> Shelly. Um, I've got a middle cobalt blue, five, uh, sorry, six, six, zero. And do this in the top of his eyes. Actually, I'm just going to do this in his eyes. And then I'm just going to use white just at the bottom just to add a little bit of a highlight. Now I'm going to use some black to add in my eyes again because they're uh, disappeared under the colouring that I did. Better. A little bit of white gel pen. Oh, wait, I want to show you this. It's really cool. This is the pigment ink that I brought yesterday, or that came yesterday. I'm just going to dip my... What is this called again? <laughs> Toothpick. Uh, into it, just a little bit on the end. See? And I'm going to use that. Just like that. It's really cool. I like it. Let's give him some highlights on his lips too. Uh-huh. Some little highlights. We could use our gold too. But let me know when you get birthday present and let me know. What I got because I've <laughs> it's a toothpick, that's it. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> oh, Shelly, Shelly, Shelly. Should we finish his arms or should I go and do some other details? He looks sad to me. He looks like he's like, I don't know, been, been let down. He's got this really sad look on his face. Look, I'm so sad. My man love didn't turn up. What do I do now? <laughs> Oh, this is the Art Spectrum one, and I also brought this one, which does exactly the same. I tried them both. This is Royal Talon's Drawing Ink White, and this is just Artist Pigment Ink White. This was really cheap, actually, for that size of the bottle. Um, I think Art Spectrum is a Australian-only brand, though. They're Australian, I know that, but I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. What happened, Pam? Oh, Pam. I'm not putting any on his nipples. <laughs> he can just stay dark. It's still dark down there. <laughs> You're just so mean. <laughs> Unless he's got like a, cur a, a nipple ring, <laughs> we can uh, give him a nipple ring, can we? <laughs> that was just white. I was just accentuating the uh, light edges. <laughs> Ah, oh, shoot me. <laughs> Let's give him black hair. I got black. 
I need to sharpen it. Thank you. <laughs> black. Our black number is uh, zero, zero, 009. <laughs> Ursula here. <laughs> Reminds me of George of the Jungle. Ashinda. Is that your thing, Abby? <laughs> like the beard? No. <laughs> I've never coloured a beard before. This is kind of weird. Puerto Rico earthquake. Ooh, scary. <laughs> Very pretty. Yeah, he's pouting. He's going, I miss my friend. Lover, whatever. Payne's grey. Hope everybody is safe. I've only ever had one earthquake here. Oh, maybe two actually. But they were extremely small. <laughs> one of them, we were at the drive-ins and I just thought the kids were stuffing around in the car, moving the car around, but they weren't moving. It was the ground moving and the car was kind of wobbling a bit. That was about it. And the other one, I was actually sitting on the couch and all of a sudden I could feel the couch like vibrating. And that was it. It was done. Finished. Finito. All right. Uh, I'm going to go with the... No. Did we use Prussian blue before? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Let me just sharpen it. Prussian, Prussian. Oh, Shelly, that's just wrong. <laughs> Nellis, is it bad? Are you okay? Kind of like colouring in an animal. <laughs> <laughs> a hairy animal. Got black again. I 
I am so hungry. My stomach is grumbling. It must be pizza time. It really must be pizza time. Um, I think I might flick some of this green through there. That uh, light malachite green. And maybe some of the some of the mang manganese violet. I did. I had cocoa pops in the end. I have a thing for cocoa pops at the moment. <laughs> Just like a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy. I don't know. Do you guys have cocoa pops? I was supposed to have them yesterday for breakfast, but I ended up having wheat mix. Back with the black again, just to add a little bit more depth. I'm a what? <laughs> I'm a what? I'm going to turn his head upside down. <laughs> Black. I'm just flicking. my pencil, making some lines of texture. He's got a nice mane of hair. Oh gosh. So Heather, are you colouring in Nathaniel today? Oh whoops, I covered over his ear. Oh well. Excellent beard. Thank you. Thank you very much. I haven't decided what color his fins and things are going to be yet. Blue. Blue and the water is going to be blue and it's all just blue. <laughs> I'm blue, yeah, but yeah, but I have a blue house with blue windows. I have a girlfriend and she is so blue. Ah. Oh, yes. So you're doing a man too. Oh, we get to see some more men. Are you? Are you doing a man? <laughs> oh, he is looking for you then, Abby. He matches you.
It's not funny. It's not funny, Heather. You didn't man tea. No, that's not hair, that's wings. That's his, like, wings. Fins. Fins. <laughs> that's his fins. This is his hair coming out the side here. Bye, Robin. <laughs> Sleep well. some pens g'day I have pencils everywhere my desk is a mess again it really is he's got big hair it's from the 80s 90s Did I get to see Lisa's pencil box? No. Lisa was on at like my midnight last night. Oh, I don't have all mine together. My pencil box is huge. <laughs> I don't, don't, I just, I just keep them separate. I'm too OCD to put them all together. I got like a filing cabinet full of pencils. Just noticed that those those uh, scales are kind of hiding in there. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, did I use green next? I think I used green next. <laughs> Loretta. Yeah, that, it, it's not, it's not it's not. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I just keep mine separate. Not all of mine have their boxes, but they're in folders. Um, I considered getting them all out, but I... I <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Freaks me out. I'm sorry, it does. I have this stand thing that I've got all of my Copics in at the moment, and uh, I've considered putting them, putting my pencils into that, but. I'd still have to separate them, which would mean that's going to take up a fair bit of room. And uh, also time. So I haven't done it because of that. What 
what are we talking about that's legal, please? Oh, Pam, gotcha. Okay, yep, got ya. Yeah, I've heard the oil does wonders, actually. Miss Pam. Supposed to be really good for people with epilepsy, actually. The oil. Black again. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think I'm going to make it to the end. I'm going to have to break again. <laughs> Too much tea for B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using black again now. What's a U shares pencil case? I have all I have all these train USA ones. Train by by Columbia to Ink Portland Oregon USA. I have these. I have like four of them. And I really like them. They come in different sizes, so I think that's good. I'm going to use the colorless blender and just blend that off, make sure there's no fuzzy bits in there. Is that the same as the TV series Siren? They are, they're good, they're nice and thick and um, sturdy. Can't fit my Prismas in one of those though, unfortunately. I have my Prismas in a big huge thing. I'm just trying to keep my uh, blender in the direction the hair's going so I don't smudge it all.
Good choice in hair colour. A little bit of black on these eyebrows. Just, just add a little bit of black. Some guys have bigger eyelashes than women. My husband has really long eyelashes. It makes me jealous. I've done well. I don't know about this part of the tummy though. It kind of looks a little strange. That's a little better. <laughs> He's adjusting. Let me just adjust him a little bit. Looks just like my husband. <laughs> no, I'm serious. <It> does. <laughs> Except for there. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what does it look like? <laughs> Yeah, he has. <laughs> a beard. <laughs> he can still have hair on his head. <laughs> Try in case. It's uh, about that thick. And uh, this one has... The smaller ones don't have the inserts, or they might only have one, but this one has two uh, double-sided inserts. Uh, this one doesn't have any on it, but uh, it's got a handle, so you can pull the handle out and you can carry it. It's got a zipper. And that's that. So this is a 96 one, I think, and you can do it up. And you can have the handle sticking out there and you can carry it with you. But they're really thick, uh, well made. And these insert bits, this is like padded. Uh, material so the pencil sitting quite nicely the only thing is that uh, you gotta be careful how far in you push them because you can break the leads if you push them in too far and the ones on the edges here can be hard to get out in and out of that's the only thing but um other than that I've got four of them I quite like them pretty good they're a little bit more expensive than some of the others that I've seen, but the cheaper ones, like this one here, I don't like the way I have to replace these at some stage. I don't like how these are long ways like this. It annoys me. It's hard to keep track of where everything is. And this colour, it was supposed to be like aqua and it came like Christmas green. They're horrible. But they hold the pencil, so that's the main thing. And I've got this big leather one for my Prismas. Um, and this is very similar to the Tran one, actually, except it's way bigger. It's got a padded things. This has also got a handle. It's got an actual over-the-shoulder handle, this one. And this holds 180 pencils. Needless to say, I don't have 180 Prisma colours, but you know. Uh, this one only holds two, one, one pencil per little thing. The Tran one holds two pencils per thing. Um, so that one's massive. Massive. Alright, what 
have we got? Should we do gold or silver here? No, I probably should. I'll, I'll do these these little fin things here. I want to do them like like blue, but aqua blue. I didn't have aqua blue in this set. It's green. Oh. There's only like green in this set. What's this? Turquoise blue. Gold? Oh, pinks. I like I like um Oh, purple's Dahlia purple, um, and Dahlia purple and Palmer violet I use a lot. <laughs> Tiny little pencils, and pinks I use Process red, Hot pink, Salmon pink. I use a lot of pinks actually. Pomegranate. <laughs> permanent red uh, yeah, I use them all no I'm not putting a nipple ring in I'm sorry <laughs> it is Aquaman <laughs> definitely <laughs> I've got some turquoise blue. And white. So we reckon gold, do we? What have we got? I've never made gold with luminance before. Let's have a play. Got raw sienna. What else have I got in here? Hmm. Brown ochre. Let's do brown ochre. Number 37. Make this the shadowy colour. And then I've got raw sienna, 36. Oh, should they be gems on here, on, on there? I think they, I think we'll make them gems. Let's just erase out of there. I like my new sharpener, it's, uh, my new I can't even think of the name. Eraser. I think I need more sleep again already. Impromptu wake up. <laughs> and then I need something really bright. Like, yeah. What's this one? Bismuth yellow. That's number... Eight ten. I've I've um I gave up writing them down too. That was silly of me. Oh well. You have to watch back to get the names. <laughs> and then we're gonna have some white. And I'll make the gems the same blue as 
his ears, his crown. Uh, but we'll put the light blue and then we'll put a little bit of darker. We can't put dark blue because, well, hang on, what's this one? No. Ultramarine? Oh no. Middle cobalt blue it was. Middle cobalt blue hue. And that was done in his eyes. Let's put some of that as our shadow colour. out green blue anyway we'll add some little speckles of yes I have it to go I was talking about it the other day and with the different sized holes I'm just going to add a little bit more of the brown ochre. You know what? I think I could go darker again. Uh, let's add a little bit of CPR 407 just for around. Gems. to raw sienna oh yay awesome I'm so glad to hear I ended up giving up and going for my hand crank one because um, I get a sore hand and I find that I don't put the pencils in straight <laughs> and uh, they end up wonky or they break so the hand cranks good because I don't have to hold the pencil it does it itself I'm using luminettes oh my stomach's grumbling because they're cooking food they're cooking food this is bismuth yellow I hope they put pizza on for me. <laughs> I just say it a bit louder. Do they hear me? <laughs> bit of white. Ah. That's why I like my hand crank too, because I can get them nice and sharp. I saw one artist, I can't remember who it was. He was a, um, I think he was a comic book artist. And, um, he like shaves all of the wood off and all these leads were like down here so weird <laughs> really long and it, he he said that it they had to do it at school because uh when they were learning because it encourages them to to be really really gentle with the pencils um, but yeah i was like wow that's just scary just break them so easily let's add some white highlights on there eyeballs because they poke your eyeballs out. Fair enough. Alright, I've got 
some uh, violet brown. I'm just going to go and break it. Line out some of these scales. How long have I got? Half an hour? No, time is just flying. I'm going to use white inside the edge. Twenty-one minutes. Okay, sorry, my bad. I have a habit of uh, <laughs> I have a habit of of just rounding things, you know. But yes, I understand. This time I'm going to add some of that sepia into the dark areas of this one. And then I've got brown ochre. stomach's growling <laughs> why did they do that why did they start cooking <laughs> raw sienna sorry yeah raw sienna Michelle, we already had two, two giveaways. We did a Monya one. I won, I won Monya's giveaway. I was not expecting that. I kind of thought, oh, I'll put, put a number in. And um, I always buy Monya's images when she brings them out. So uh, I kind of had everything. <laughs> so I just said to her, well, can, can we just, can I just re-give it away? And she said, yeah, go, give it away. So I did that. <laughs> oh cat I had got this thing on my wrist just just appeared not long ago this big um cyst here <laughs> It appeared and when it appeared I was a uh, it's a ganglion cyst is that what it's called anyway I was uh, washing my hands one day and uh, it wasn't there in the morning in the evening it was there it just appeared just like that I'm using white here it's just weird and I have carpal tunnel too 
well actually more Raynards in my hands. Very, very sore hands. And my daughter's got Raynards as well and her feet are really bad. Gotta be careful, like get chill blains and things like that because my feet get so cold and I don't realise. And uh go get in a bath or in a shower and stuff like that and I end up with chill blains. Alright, there we go, gold. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of a, mm, I would call it more like arthritis, but <laughs> I feel like I need to finish the rest of the body now. I feel like we've, um, we've kind of missed parts. I am just going to go over this tattoo a little bit, just in the dark areas, just to deepen it up a little bit. Yeah, I've really enjoyed this colorathon. I've still got. Um, I'm going to be doing. Who's whose image am I doing tomorrow? Uh, I'm doing Jennifer Zimmerman's image tomorrow. Just add some got um, some little white flecks on this one. <laughs> and uh, I think we need to finish some skin, don't we? Oh, maybe I should start his tail. We haven't only got like 15 minutes, so I've just done so much skin today already. I think we might move on to his tail a little bit but for his tail I was actually going to go really quite simple and um, do it really dark <clears throat> maybe just like uh, this section here use those light colors that we used so I've got uh, white add a bit of a shine there just a bit of a shine on this side. Make like a V shape, I guess. Uh, what else do we use? We use our burnt, burnt, burnt ochre ten percent. Kind of make it pearly coloured, I guess. Then we go with that um, light, light uh, malachite green, like that. And a little bit of a I'm going to go with a little bit of the uh, violet brown. Oh, there's a bit of coral there. I need to erase that out of there. Growl. My stomach just growled. Manganese violet. 
which is on the edge of the green and the dark purple just blending that in slightly and then we had the blue Prussian blue I'm going to make the rest of the tail blue but yeah I was going to do it quite simple just like that so we couldn't really see too much of the scales um, because <laughs> Shara she is next um, just like that and I'm gonna eat my pizza while I watch Heather and her merman I, I'll get a kick out of that <laughs> so bring your uh, sense of humor over to Heather's because she welcomes that and let's make her have a giggle <laughs> Going back in with the violet brown. <laughs> ah, welcome back, Catherine. We, we've done heaps. We haven't finished all his skin off. We've done his abs. We've done his hair and beard and face and, and all that, but we've still got plenty to do in the skin and we're just doing a bit of a a bit of a tail demonstration now of what I was going to do we can see where we're going I think it's good, I like it it's going to look good when it's finished Speaking of cockatoos, uh, conversation with Jen yesterday in her stream about cockatoos. Um, I can hear them out there now. We've got a massive paddock. We've got power lines near us and there's a massive paddock no houses under it. And they sit in that paddock and they just feed all day. Getting all the bugs from the ground. They're very noisy, very messy. <laughs> Back to violet, sorry, manganese violet again. I really like how these colours came in together too. I was a little bit worried. I was having a scribble on the paper and I was like, yeah, I don't know. But it's come together well. Back to the blue. And the water, I'm going to do dark, dark blue. Um, so all with, with some pan pastels. Let's have a quick look at that. Because, you know, I was going to do this and I was going to do that and uh, I was going to do this. <laughs> Thanks, Leslie. <laughs> and this was going to happen and uh, it never happens, does it, in a stream? Why won't my camera zoom out properly? These are all the colours that I've been using. Let's just move them. Out of the way. With the pan pastels, I was going to use...
probably some turquoise shade white and what have I got in here So the cat stood on them before. All right, maybe a bit of phthalo blue, extra dark, some ultramarine blue, and a little bit of, where's my tint? Phthalo blue tint. And I would just grab a soft tool where's my scrap paper gone a few watercolors came out cool look at them now look at that green that was the was that the dragon that that green I think that was the dragon that's really pretty anyway we use this as a it's a bit of a thing for my pastels here. And uh, I'll go with some of this uh, phthalo blue extra dark. I can pencil over anything that's here later. I don't need to worry about these bits down here. They can have that color over them. these lines are already marked in we may as well use them some ripples I started using my my uh, Claire Fontaine pastel matte paper last night I was doing a bit of a sky it's coming out awesome. I love the paper. It's amazing. But I brought that for my own stuff. I can't put colouring pages on that. I couldn't put that through the printer. It's got like a sandpapery kind of texture. So I couldn't do that. Um, all right, and then I'm going to use the Let me see a color. Ah, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Phthalo blue shade. In there as well, just mixing it through so it's not all one color. Can always erase out of the areas that you haven't colored yet and put it in how long have I got three minutes no I'm coming got phthalo blue tint and also this pretty color which is turquoise shade I really like the turquoise um, I'm gonna use this in the top here with plenty of white and in these lighter areas but that's it that's all I'm gonna do for my background quick and easy and then I'll just come in and I'll re highlight some of these areas on the down in here kind of give it the illusion that there's color behind the blue water you know 
and lots of white. So go check out Heather, take your humour, give her a laugh and um, enjoy her colouring Nathaniel Wake. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you later on today. Only for about an hour. Maybe I'll finish the background on this. <laughs> Bye, guys.